many people think that once you get into MIT or whatever top college, you're basically set for life. But having gone through almost two online semesters at MIT myself, let me tell you the sad truth. As expected, all of our classes are much harder and it's not like I'm in Harvard where there's great inflation, so my grades are kind of screwed. In just my first semester here, I've almost failed a lot of the classes that I took. So I took a total of four classes. They were chemistry, physics, computer science, and writing. But before I go deep into details about those classes, what grades I got and what went wrong with them, I've been looking for ways to relieve myself from the stress of all this failing. For example, by gaming. Which brings us to today's sponsor, a sponsor every YouTuber has ever dreamed of, which is none other than the infamous Raid Shadow Legends. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 500 champions plus with unique skills, you can build your team, develop your champions, and raid your way. Use my links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. I've been playing Raid for a while now, and these are some of the champions I've been using. If you want to get through Faction Wars, Doom Tower, Dragon Slayer, and Spider, then Battle Sage is always a great option. She's got an AoE default attack and she's got damage buffs that can't be stripped, as she clears debuffs on all allies. She's basically made to kill the Spider. Triple hits hard, he's one of the hardest hitters in the whole game. And his skills are about dealing damage, and it makes him great just about everywhere. Busts himself like crazy, and his hardest hitting skill resets its own cooldown if he takes someone out with it. Hands down, my most satisfying champion. What I like about the game is that it's so easy to get into, but it ends up becoming so addicting. The graphics are also amazing, and it just makes the entire experience so immersive. And this month, Ray just released an insane amount of new content and new things to do. First off, they've just released 11 amazing new champions, and also released almost 200 brand new missions to complete, with an exclusive legendary champion as a reward if you manage to finish them all. And if that's not enough, they also added 5 tough new levels to almost every single dungeon in the game. That's an incredible amount to add in just one month. As always, Ray's getting bigger and better every single month and it's never been easier to get started. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on my links, and support my channel by downloading Raid today. Once you're in, you can find me in-game under the name Joker Banana. And it's that easy, just click the link in the description, and I'll see you in the game. So this class is a requirement for graduation. To be honest, I don't really remember what I learned. It was just standard chemistry stuff like um, molecules, Acids and bases. Um, I think I think that's all I remember. The homework for this class isn't actually graded, and the lectures were all pre-recorded. So what ended up happening was that, like some other people in the class, I decided to not watch lecture videos and just cram before quizzes and exams, which kind of worked since I at least got a sixty-four percent. But if this was any other class with a normal grading scheme, then I would have gotten a D, and that's actually not considered as a pass, as I'll explain later in this video. This class is also a requirement for graduation. Again, I don't really remember which concepts I learned. I think they were overall pretty similar to AP Physics C. But the cool thing about this class is, which is probably the only thing I remember, was that they actually got to send us experiment kits for us to play around with. My favorite experiment was the one where we had to create a working motor using magnets. I still don't know how it works exactly, but I basically just tried a bunch of configurations and got it to work. Kind of like what you do in programming as well. Unlike 3091, they actually checked for attendance in the lectures, so I couldn't really skip them. But what went wrong here was that toward the end of the semester, I accidentally got lazy and didn't do the homework and also for my final I got an incredible 42% so that didn't help either but anyway a C is pretty bad so I'll consider this as a fail. As the class name suggests I learned advanced algorithms in this class and the good thing was that we didn't have any assessments but the bad thing was that in replacement for that they gave us really hard problem sets for homework. And we also had a research project at the end of the semester, which was also hard because we had to read through a bunch of research papers. An A- minus may seem like a pretty good grade, but considering the fact I spend all my time in my room programming all day, an A- minus for any computer science class is just unacceptable. But here's my excuse. 
So a lot of the points that were taken off in my homework were because some of my explanations weren't detailed enough. But if you were to explain an idea to someone in the real world, you don't try to explain every single detail because that person would be bored out and you would simply waste a lot more energy. Instead, you could just give a summary and if that person has questions about some of the details, they can ask for only those details to be explained further, which is a lot more efficient. And a lot of computer science is about efficiency. For example, how fast your program runs or how much memory uses. And it's quite ironic to me that they don't value students like me who try to be efficient. Anyway, to summarize, the graders of the problem sets just weren't good enough to understand my high quality solution. So yeah, that's, that's why I failed. This class is also part of the graduation requirement, and I just want to say upfront that this was the best English class that I've taken in my last five years, not only because it was chill, but because the content was actually useful. Reading Shakespeare or whatever literature written more than a century ago, which was what happened to me in high school English class, is just so much harder than reading machine code, and it's not even as useful as being able to read machine code, whereas in this class, we are given real-life scenarios involving writing, such as writing a grant proposal, which is actually useful. I actually failed before the class even started because during the summer, we had to take this thing called the first year essay evaluation, in which we basically wrote two essays that were evaluated. Sadly, I failed this assessment, so by MIT's policy, I have to choose a writing class as my first humanities class. And this class definitely wasn't a bad choice, but the fact that I failed is still unsatisfying. Many of you might think that my GPA is screwed right now, but actually it's not because of freshman PNR, which means that for the first semester, if you get an A, a B, or a C, it appears as a pass on your transcript. And if you get a D or an F, there'll be no record of the class on your transcript but you don't get credit for it, so you might still need to retake it. And here's my report for this semester. And thankfully, it doesn't look terrible, but I was way too close to getting a D and having to retake chemistry or physics. Also, starting from this semester, I have to try more to not fail, otherwise I might have to become a dropout. Of course, there was much more to my first semester than just classes, such as personal projects, which I spent a lot of time on, but I don't want to fill my final, which is coming up soon, so I'll talk about them some other day. If you enjoy learning about my failures, then be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss out on any of my future failures. If you think you could have done much better than how I did, then leave a comment down below and I'll refer you to the MIT admissions office. If you want to stay updated, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter or join my Discord. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.